Hello members of the internet and welcome to an operating system and a performance review. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, Watt OS Linux, which is a Ubuntu <coughs> derivative. Uh, and um, this is going to be my, uh, I don't know, my guinea pig, my durable, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Anyways, this was actually brought to me by YouTuber Stocking and Blossom One. Yeah, that sounds about right. And we're going to be doing it uh, on this computer right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you a very important lesson. Do not judge a book by its cover. Rather, this, relationships, car, whatever that looks, you know, has a deceiving look sometimes, or a deceiving look with awesome stuff. You know what I mean. Don't judge, don't judge a book by its cover. So, I'm going to show you why. Well, you know, we have a perfect case, USB, and front panel audio with the busted door, so I ain't opening this, I'm not opening that. Uh, you know, power, reset, all this, you know, base stuff, and the DVD burner, yeah! That must be great! What's inside? Pentium 2. Yeah, you don't judge a book by its cover, and that was the only case I could get. I wish I had a more time correct case. <laughs> But it's not happening. That's the that's the best I got. So we're gonna be going on the details. Uh, this one has an Nvidia Who Cares uh, 32 meg graphics. I think it's a TNT. Uh, got an Ethernet uh, card, and a Sound Sound Blaster Live card, of course. This one has no onboard audio, and this was the time where you had to buy all a bunch of cards to you know get more functionality out of your system. Uh, it's running with a Pentium 2, 400 megahertz, an 8 gig hard drive, a floppy drive, the <coughs> excuse me, the DVD burner, and as well as uh, yeah, you're not gonna believe this. I think this thing has 640 megs of RAM. Now the reason why is because Watt OS, which is Ubuntu derived, is um, a live installation, well, a live environment, and then you can install it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and return this thing back to its former glory, which is 256 megs of RAM right in front of your eyes. Why am I doing this? Well, the reason is, I want to make it period correct, and, you know, 256 megs of RAM for a Pentium 2 is rather very generous. So, I'm going to try to see how the performance is, and I'm going to do a counter, see how long it takes to boot, and we're going to be looking at a bit of the operating system itself. And see what that Pentium 2 can do on a there on a modern uh, operating system. This one is R6. I'm aware there are later model uh, later operating system versions, but he was looking for an R6 version, so I'm going to be doing the R6 version. It also has a best tech power supply, 250 watt, 14 amps on the 12 watt rail. Yeah, more than enough to power this piece of shit. So I'm going to hook things up and we're going to go. Uh, a little bit more of a depth, uh, in depth. This motherboard is the Intel SC440BX-2, powered by the Intel 440BX chipset. There are two, well, a couple of revisions on this board. This is the first revision, and it supports up to a Pentium 3 550 megahertz, 100 megahertz front side bus, of course. Anything 133 won't work. However, later revisions can support up to higher than that, like uh, around 800 megahertz Pentium 3 with 100 megahertz front side bus. This one does not. I put one 600 megahertz Pentium 3 once. It posted fine, but it halted my system, saying that I put an incompatible CPU. If you remember my Acer video, this is the douchebag board I was talking about. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. 256 megs of RAM, Phoenix BIOS, remember that for a while. Huh. Memory decreased in size, I understand that. And off we go. Three, two, one, go. My 
my timer running. I lost my screen. What the fuck? I guess it's... Yeah, I guess that's Linux for you. Oh, we're up to 30 seconds, still nothing. Well, hard drive seems to be uh, going on, so nothing's lost. 45 seconds. This thing was running decent with 640 megs of RAM. I wonder why. Oh, there we go. Alright, a minute six to get to the login screen. I'll just enter my info. Of course. And to the login screen. Remember, this thing has 256 megs of RAM, so you gotta give it a break. And... We're good to go. 23.3 seconds. <clears throat> Not that bad, and yeah, it's completely idle. So, let's get going. Um, I'm gonna start with the... Uh, this is the stock wallpaper, and Wild OS is the uh, light bulb logo. So if you... Check around. It's basically the LXD default uh, backgrounds, and of course this is LXD um, window manager. So it's lightweight, fits perfect for that. Um, let's go on the internet. It runs with Chromium. I tried going on YouTube and no luck. It only gave me a black square. I wonder why. Oh, it's giving me the welcome again. Fuck you, I don't want that. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. If I had you, there it is. So now I'm going to do, uh, I don't know. Thank you, too. Uh... Still lives. Oops. In 2050. Oops. 2015. Let's see what I get. Well, you can get a radio. Yeah, a couple things here. I did try it on the Pentium MMX. My old piece of shit, and it actually went to the CD, but it went as far as that. Reason behind it? Well, it's got 64 megs of RAM, so eventually I'm going to do a test with the Pentium, Pentium 2, and a Pentium 3, but I'm waiting for a Socket 7 Pentium to open up. Of course, my IBM Optiva down there, which is powered by the AMD K6, will take the Pentium processor and supports up to 512 megs of RAM, but I don't want to, you know take down my mono wall server and that'd be kind of cheating. Yeah, so that's basically what I get. Anyways. Audacious, I guess that's music player. Of course. I it's gotta be a music player. Yep. And that's weird. Okay. Oh, that's files. Nope. Okay, so we'll see file manager. Let that go. Alright, let's go see the uh, resources. This is what we're in for. Uh, system tools. Task manager, I guess. Huh, 90 megs of 243 megs used. Wow. 
Well, that's been a while. I haven't seen that. Usage is in, yeah. It's more details. Oh, uh, it gives me the PID, I guess? Okay, so it simplifies if I click more. Oh, never mind. If I move the mouse like a freaking crazy douche. Uh, yep. That's a lot of processing power to keep up with my awesomeness mouse. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears> hmm. <throat> Not bad at all. Hmm. Do we have sensors? I guess not. Not those. Systems never had sensors. Nope. Screw it. Hmm. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Say cheese. Yeah, I know that's kind of a cheesy, uh, cheesy application. Oh, PF sensor just uh, stuck down there, just chilling. Right click, still nothing. I guess I have to go here and quit. There we go. Jeez, oh, finally. Oh boy, what the hell is this? Blocks galore. <laughs> Jeez, well, I don't really have uh Well, I have an email, but that. Another one, too. Jeez. Must be popular today. But I don't have a webcam, so. Monitor settings, additional drivers. Um, do I need proprietary drivers that it'll automatically, magically install for me? Even though I don't feel the accomplishment of it. Oh, cool. Of course, the magic of video editing did everything else because that was horrifically long. Okay, uh, now I'm going to prove to you that Chromium is a fucking memory hog. 96. Move that down for now. Open Chromium. Oh yeah, that thing's turning. And that 8 gigabyte hard drive, by the way, is from an Xbox. Yeah, the original Xbox, believe it or not. I've been keeping this for many, many years until I finally unlocked the stupid thing. And, uh, yeah. Did all this work for 8 gigs. That sucks. Not. I was accomplished. Okay, so Chromium's up. Wow, 40 megs of RAM. What the hell? This thing normally takes like 40 million gigs. Well, I guess I'll just, uh, 5... There we go. You can't really two. Okay. Two tabs and two Google searches. Hmm. Yeah, it's filling up alright. Hmm. <laughs> yep, takes a lot of processing power to do a search. That's my bottleneck right now. Hmm. Charlie the Unicorn 2? What? What? Oh, never mind. I guess I'll wrap things up right now because, yeah, I don't have anything else to show, really. And, uh... Yeah. So, actually, I do have one more thing to show. Let's see how long it takes to shut down. Alright, uh, log out. Fifteen minutes later, it's going to show up the, 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 whatever there. Oh, okay. Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah, you went to uh, 12.04, it didn't bother. And the progress bar is going up. 19 seconds. Wow, that's not bad. I guess Pentium, uh, Pentium 2s are actually uh, 
useful if you slam a lot of memory in them. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm gonna wrap things up now. I am impressed. I'm impressed. I know this is not the latest operating system, but I'm impressed. Really? A Pentium 2 running Wado SR6 and runs like that? Yeah. I mean, I've seen Pentium 2s run Windows 7 with 96 megs of RAM, but holy crap, if you want to do something with that, you'll never get something done with that. But, slap a lot of memory in, I swear. Well, I don't swear, but it can actually get you uh, somewhere. You can actually do stuff with it. Okay, well, don't expect a huge performance machine and don't go on YouTube with it because it's not going to happen, but hey, it does the job, right? So anyways, if you have any questions, comments, anything I've overlooked or not looked at on this particular operating system, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you have any other suggestions for this channel or another operating system you'd like for me to, you know, do an overview at, please feel free to leave me a comment down below as well. And before I leave, look what I got. I got a garbage can, but subject of its own video. So, until next time, take care.